Hi Aqua, welcome to another reading here for you. Um, I'm not gonna let the messages come because uh, this is second day when I'm actually doing your reading again. Um, I'm gonna speak in analogy, so please do take the messages that they resonate and find the meaning in them. But what I got when I was getting ready for your reading, first of all, rushed i felt rushed to do everything i felt rushed to maybe not rushed um but like i just need to do everything i i i just need to do it i wanted a cup of coffee together with this and like it needs to brew uh, faster can you just brew faster you know like very restless and then i had an image um if you played any ball game maybe you know that when for instance basketball if you want to get the ball from the ground you have to hit it hard to bounce so it was something with the bounce back you gotta hit it hard to bounce back and at the bottom of the deck i have a page of cups and this 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 card came to me with this message of maybe not seeing your worth properly or you doubting yourself interesting you have the two of wands underneath Doubt, doubting your own worth or your own abilities your own capabilities you know maybe you doubt speaking here because it was an eight of wands underneath so yeah let's see Oof. come on Um, I see you here, maybe hmm, six of wands in reverse and the higher point at the bottom of the deck. I see you here leaving um, a, a situation because the plan you had didn't came through. So you could have been out for quite some time debating where to go, what to do. You could have failed in a situation here um and maybe that's why this page of cups feeling like you don't quite have it but i see for quite some time now with the seven of pentacles here and the two of pentacles you trying to figure things out you weighing your options you trying to maybe see which way to go because with this eight of cups i see I see leaving a situation. I see someone here leaving a situation and trying to figure out what to do. Um, there is also a sense of... Um, kind of got this in Capricorn reading. Maybe you can resonate with that. But uh, kind of waiting here to see how long someone can last without your presence. And then with this Two of Pentacles, maybe like kind of doubting if it was the right thing to do uh, or not. And for some of you, this talks about a connection uh, here that you have here uh, with someone. It's kind of like a soul connection that you have here uh, with someone. Could be even siblings, doesn't have to be necessarily uh, romantic. But with this Page of Wands and Eight of Cups, some of you went, went sayonara um, here. Because you had a plan, but in order for that, you kind of, kind of had to get lost. For some of you, it comes with you having actually to get lost in order for you to, in the end, maybe uh, understand what is truly important for you. This is a, six of cups gives me also like um, innocence, like what really tickles you, what really makes you happy, you know. Some of you could have been reminiscing upon memories. Like, why did I do, for instance, this job for so long when, when my dream has always been to maybe play basketball or train basketball or work with children or something, you know? lot of swords here but it's not the kind of good sword five of wands wanted to stay in my lap in my lap can you see maybe for some of you this is a conflict this is a conflict i see you here in the current um aqua um you could have conflict here maybe with family members you could have conflict here 
inner conflict uh, as well. But I see there is a situation that it's stuck on your mind. There is a situation that you can you can't stop thinking about it, and that could be a situation that maybe you have been debating in the recent past, rather if you took the right decision or not. Um, and it's kind of conflicting your own system beliefs. It kind of goes maybe against the way you've been raised. Um, or maybe your traditions, you know, your family traditions. I see you here though wanting to do the right thing and with the Seven of Cups uh, and Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck, for some of you, this talks like maybe you wait kind of for the universe to make this choice in your behalf. You're like, ah, oh, this is in God's hands. Whatever happens, it happens. But I don't see you here taking much action because for some of you are very overwhelmed and incredibly overwhelmed mentally. Um, for others, you also have like financial struggles. And because of financial struggles, um, your entire system is disembalanced right now. And you find it challenging to move. Some of you could experience actually panic attacks. Uh, I do see um, here past energy that is challenging you in the current and is challenging you mostly mentally. Is challenging you mentally. I see you fighting back past um, maybe situations in which you probably have been manipulated or maybe your finances have been manipulated. It's kind of a situation in which you lost um, your confidence. That's how I feel. But in the end, I see here with this Hierophant that in the current, whatever you do, uh, you want to do it right. You want to do it fair. It could be a big fixed energy in the way that um, you can't really find solutions or you can't really find um like an Aquarian solution, which is truly out of the box right now, because you could be simply overwhelmed by thoughts. But if you have this, you have two steps back and then you have one step back because of one thought. If you resonate um, with this, it could be because you're being very much challenged for new, for progress, you know, for growth. Some of it was stuck in your mind. It's a conversation that you had here with someone or simply more than a conversation that you had here with someone. Some of you here um, had a burst, had a burst. Um, you could have done something here impulsively or you could have talked here. Um, well, I feel honestly, to be honest, I feel like drinking. Some of you here could have, you know, had a, um, like an addiction or some of you could have had um, a moment of rebellion. Uh, energy here and then it kind of stuck with you look again four of uh, swords some of you could want to rebel here against maybe traditions in your family or maybe you want to rebel against your employer here i'm not getting a specific situation so that's why i'm talking so many uh, different um situations page of cups shows up for some of you, you have fears to talk uh, this is, you know, for some of you, you know, um, maybe this is just now, it's not like a dosophobia, but it's um, maybe expressing your emotions. Maybe you kind of debate here, either to, maybe you don't understand your emotions. Maybe a wave of emotions came and you're feeling overwhelmed by it. But whatever this is for you, I do see you debating again rather to talk or not rather to express or not you kind of um, hear think about it. maybe was if you had conflict with someone maybe you think was i wrong or not do i have to apologize is this the right even time to apologize how do i can make this um this situation fair more than anything i don't want to come across as uh, being a childish but i don't want to be step on on my feet either so it's a situation here that I, i'm picking up on that it's challenging you very much um here let's take this high referent the eight of swords is being clarified by the eight of wands Ace of Cups, Two of Wands, and the Page of Cups. For some of you, this is, you are very anxious of talking about your feelings. 
in a situation in which maybe you could have taken your your time to understand yourself and with this page of cups to and again eight of swords at the bottom of the deck now page of cups to to, to tell them to express your feelings to express your mind to tell what's all there and it's you it's you strength at the bottom of the deck the hierophant it's you the hierophant it's page of uh, pentacles and the star and for some of you this talks about you maybe reconciling here with someone dear to you someone that you care for uh, this could be someone that you uh, you want to take things um, slow from scratch here you know you require strength look the empress strength uh, here it's a situation in which there is uh, a lot of investment that uh, either you've done or you are thinking of doing uh, here but the star gives me very strong your intentions you want to be fair you want to be um how do i say because I, I have so many words in my head right now uh, in many different languages but you want to be not healing but you want to be gentle i that's how i feel you want to be gentle exactly like this page of pentacles holds the coin that's how you want to be maybe you know that this situation is gentle or the way you have to deal with this person has to be in a gentle way or the situation entirely it has to be gentle but you're coming in with friendship you're coming in with good intentions And maybe what I've got the analogy, like you have to hit the ball strong. Maybe that's what you need. You need the strength to get up from the ground or come out from your head because you are in Empress energy in the end, which is you learned a lot. You're growing all the time, you know. Thank you. Oh, you might have a tendency to um, to stop. Wow. <sighs> oh wow! Ah, quite lovely. You. This is future energy. You have power to change and control this. Um, you got the Three of Wands, Empress, and Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And with these cards, these two simple cards, I picked up on, I'm not ready. No, I need to plan a bit more. I need to uh, think a bit more. How am I going to do this? Empress in reverse is like, no, I, I don't have the resources. I, I, I'm i not ready yet. And Eight of Pentacles is, no, this, this won't work. No, it's, it's not going to grow. This is not working. And what I think it's kicking in, I think it's kicking in fear for many of you. With this devil card here, I feel like for many of you, kicking in is fear. And this queen of swords is not looking at this. It's it's turning its back at all the situation here. For others, this could mean like, in the end, you're going to turn your back at this devil energy and take action. Because... You want to make things right and how i see things is that you're going to plan you're going to plan but the way you look at the situation is very negatively it's very this is not going to work out whatever the situation is for you and i think with the queen of swords could come very easily as an advice for you as don't look at the situation that way like, why would you see failure? Why would you look at the situation from a failure point of view? Like, it's only failure here. Empress in reverse, eight of pentacles in reverse, but you have the devil upright. You know what I mean? And now I feel like taking more cards for you. The star at the bottom of the deck, that's you. Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. For some of you, uh, you want to work a bit more on your stability here. And that's maybe the reason. For some of you, you, you get your confidence when you are financially stable. And that's, that's the reason why some of you here 
are like maybe not feeling that confident to move forward. Others you see here a collaboration simply not working and that could be the reason why you don't want to move forward in a collaboration I mean but it's you at the bottom of the deck so there is a lot of hope still for that you have for this situation I wanted to say before the cards came that for some of you, the Empress in Reverse, it's a mother figure. And the Empress in Reverse is Justice and the Hierophant. And for some of you, this talks about um, the mother of your children or simply your mother or someone that maybe you could have been married with. This is someone that is um, maybe challenging you in this process in the future. Maybe some of you, like I said, you are debating here. You have a Queen of Cups with Death in Rebirth and the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck, only reverse. No, the Queen of Cups is in reverse. Yeah, the whole deck is upright. The Queen of Cups is in reverse. There could be a feminine that is not fair with you. You know, the High Priestess now in reverse. There could be a feminine that is not fair with you in the process. And that's why for you, your plans... Are going on so slow and for oh and i'm getting irritated now when i look at the devil card i'm getting irritated and i have a death at the bottom of the deck for some of you this talks reaching the high highest peak of anger mm, ten of swords uh in reverse uh ten of wands tempers in reverse for some of you this is really heavy this is incredibly heavy. Ten of Swords is not done. Someone doesn't see you being done with them here, Aqua. And you have Temperance at the bottom of the deck in reverse. No, we are not done. And maybe that's why between you and your destination, between your plan and where you want to get, it's so much um, heavy here. It's like someone is pulling your... Um, your leaves is cutting your branches, is pulling up your roots. It's like someone is putting, you know, making your, your, your life a bit heavier here. But this is future energy, you can yet change a lot, you know? For others, ooh, Ten of Swords again in reverse here. Oh, this is Seven of Swords in reverse. For some of you, this is, can you imagine? Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, I thought it's Seven of Swords. For some of you, it's very heavy to be honest about the situation, or it's very heavy to uh, accept here the truth about someone. Seven of Swords appeared quite a lot in your readings here, Aqua, you know what I mean? Is someone decepting, and you're going to find out, but I feel like it's going to take you some time to digest all that. So you got the three of wands and eight of pentacles and you got them in reverse and with this is like maybe you will decide here it's up to you aqua but this queen of swords if it's not your energy which is air energy but some of you will decide that this is not going anywhere three of pentacles in the in reverse um eight of Eight of Pentacles in reverse, three of Wands in reverse. Like, this is going nowhere. We've put so much effort into trying to figure things out here. This is going nowhere. And then you have at the bottom of the deck also the Wheel of Fortune in, in reverse. If this is going somehow, it's going in the same place all over and all over again. And there is a Five of Cups at the bottom of the deck with a Four of Wands. And for some of you, this talks about an ending. This talks about finally an ending. Um, in maybe in a situation in which you've been going back and forth a lot, a lot here. Seven of Swords in reverse is finally, finally, I'm telling the truth. Finally, I'm not going to say it, even though it's hard with this ten of wands here and the devil is very hard and it's not going to be, a, uh, it's going to be the ugly truth. I'm not going to say it. This situation doesn't work. This situation doesn't move forward. Eight of Cups. And then it says the Eight of Cups, the thought that you had at the uh, at the beginning of the reading, you're going to have it 
uh, in the end. So you kind of went in a circle here, but you have the King of Swords at the bottom of the deck as well, which is your energy. And this is like, you know what, I'm, I'm, I'm decided now. I'm decided. You know what's the situation exactly? I'm not picking up on a specific situation, but this is a situation which you have probably got uh, gone in circles here. You know what I mean? But yeah, Aqua, I see you coming out of this. I see you taking your power back. I see you getting your your entire Aquarian energy back, most likely when we enter your season uh, in two weeks. So yeah, hopefully this reading helps. And if you want a private one, on the description of my channel, you can find my contact information on, yeah, reach out. We will figure things out. Have a good one. Bye.